This is a vector drawing exercise where we're going to show you how to draw the vectors for the lily leaf moulding that you can see here. We're going to look at lots of different ways that you can create and edit shapes in the software. So let's just go to File, Close. Then we're going to go ahead and create a new file. Working with a single sided job, width of this is going to be 12 inches, height is going to be 4, material thickness that I'm working with is going to be 3 quarters of an inch. I'm going to set the Z0 position of the material surface and our XY datum position is going to be positioned in the centre of my job. Let me go ahead and press OK. Now before we go ahead and start to create the vectors, I'm actually going to switch on the snap grid and that's going to really help me draw up these vectors. So to switch that on, I can simply come up to this option here where I could toggle grid snapping on or off. At the moment we can see it's switched off. If I click it, it's now highlighted blue and I'm presented with uh, a grid within my job space. Okay. Now to edit the space in between each one of these grid points, I can simply go to Edit, Snap Options or press F4, that's the shortcut key to access the snapping options form. And you'll see here Snap to Grid is selected there and then we can alter the grid space in by entering a value in this box here. In this case I actually want to use quarter inch spacing and what that means that between every one of these dots is a quarter of an inch and this really makes it easy for me to snap to positions when I'm drawing lines, arcs, all sorts of shapes in here. Snapping radius, I'm going to keep it at a default of 10 pixels there. I'm going to have geometry snapping on, smart snapping on. I could go ahead and press OK. So the first vector that we're going to draw is going to be a line that we're going to have running along the bottom of our job. And it's going to represent one of the rails that we're going to use when we come to actually model the part in a later tutorial. So to draw that line, we're going to use the Draw Polyline option. And you'll see that every time I hover over one of these grid points, we're able to snap to that. And that's really is the nice thing about using the snap grid is that we can just snap to precise points. Okay, I'm just going to go to this bottom area here so you can see the position of that is x minus 6, y minus 2 and I can click in there and then I can just drag that out and snap to the right hand side there. The right mouse click to come out and so with this vector that we've just created I'd like to create a copy of this vector that's exactly half an inch above. So to do that I'm simply going to select it again to put it into transform mode and then I'm going to hold down control on the keyboard and I'm going to select this vector so control enables me to create a copy and now I've moved that two positions up and we know that's half an inch because each one of these dots represents a quarter inch space in and then I could just let go we can see that we have one vector there and we have the original vector here. I'm going to do the same again, I'd like to create a copy of this one so I'm going to select it again to put it into transform mode, press down control, click on the vector, drag that up right to the top there, snap to that corner and then I want one more copy that's going to be three quarters of an inch down so we're going to drop this down by three spaces so select it, hold down control and then just snap to that point there. So now I have one, two, three, four vectors in place that we've accurately positioned with the thanks to the snap grid. Next vector that I'd like to create is going to represent the cross section that we're going to use to sweep between the two rails when it comes to the modeling stage. So to draw the cross section I'm going to use the polyline tool start my first point top left hand corner there so I'm going to snap to that point to drag my polyline out. I'm going to come out by a quarter of an inch I'm going to snap to that point there. Bring that all the way down snap to the point here back in to the lower left hand corner you can see that I can snap to that point. I'm not going to join this up because our cross sections need to be open vectors so I'm going to leave that as it is. So I'm just going to press close to come out of the form there. So now what I'd like to do is insert some points into that cross section to enable me to really edit the shape just to give it the look of a moulding profile. 
So to do that, let's just go into node edit mode. I'm going to select that vector. I'm just going to right click and just say insert a point here. Right click, insert a point, or I could use the shortcut key I on the keyboard to insert a point. And I'm going to take that point that we just created there. I'm just going to snap that to this position here. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to snap that to this position here. I'm just going to box select the top two nodes that we've got here. So you can see they're all selected. And I'm just going to take one of those and just move, move it over by a quarter of an inch, snap that in place. We can see it's moved that over. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to just right click on this span and use the option to turn that into a bezier span. I'm going to take this handle here, snap to that point, this handle here, and snap to that point there. I'm going to apply some curvature to this span here. So again, right click to bezier. I'm going to take this handle, snap to that point there. And I'm going to right click on this span here. And then I'm just going to use the option to bezier. Or again, I could just use the shortcut keyboard option, which is B. And I'm just going to pull those nodes out there. If I just click in the space, and we can take a look at the profile that we've got. So that looks good. So now I'm just going to put this back into normal selection mode. And now that we're done with this vector, I'm just going to move it out of my job space as I don't need it uh, for the time being. So I'm just going to scroll out a little just by using the scroller of my mouse. I'm going to select my vector and I'm just going to position that out of the way there. And then we could use the option here to just zoom to fit. So now we're ready to sketch in a vector for the leaf design. Now before we do that, I'm actually going to switch off the snap grid, switch off smart snapping. And the reason for that is that I'm drawing up organic shapes, so there really is no need to have these smart features switched on. I'm also going to go to the snap options, because I go to edit, snap options, and then I'm going to reduce my snapping radius so it's at its smallest of 4 pixels. And again, because I'm drawing up an organic shape, I prefer the radius setting at its lowest, as this enables me to make points exactly where my cursor is. So I'll go ahead and press OK there. And so to sketch in the shape, we're going to use the polyline tool. So I'm going to go into the polyline tool, I'm going to snap at x0, y0. I'm just going to roughly sketch in a shape. So I'm just going to come up here, come down here, here, and then just come up over here. And I'm just going to right mouse click to come out of there. So that's my rough shape. And then we could go into node edit mode. And what I'd like to do is just smooth these three points here. So I'm just going to drag a box to select all of those nodes and then I'm going to press S on the keyboard to smooth those points. So now we're going to look at editing the shape so it looks more stalk-like. I'm going to take this control handle here and I'm just going to move it over to the right hand side. And that's just so that this vector flows into the centre of the part nicely there. And I'm just going to take this handle here, I'm just going to bring that over to the right there. And then this one, let's just move that over. And if I wanted to align my control handles with the node in either X or Y, I could just simply select the node. In this case, I want to align all the nodes in X, so I'm just going to press X on the keyboard. And you can see that everything's now in line. Okay, I'm just going to pull this handle over to the right there. Then I may just want to take this node here, I might want to just bump it up a little and then pull that handle out just to give it a little bit of curvature. I might want to just move that down a little. And again, I'm going to select this node here and press Y to align my handles with the node in Y. Again, it's just all about tweaking with each one of these handles and nodes. You can see there that I'm just using the left arrow key just to nudge that over slightly might want to take this node here and just nudge that up just to give it a little bit of roundness here. Again, I might just want to nudge that down over to the left there. And I might just want to increase the length of that handle. So I'm going to nudge it over to the right using the right arrow key. Take this one, nudge it over to the left. And then I might just want to take this handle here and just pull on that ever so slightly. Let's just click in the space to see how this looks. 
So it's not too bad. I just want to make one minor edit here. So I'm just going to take this handle, I'm just going to nudge it over to the right hand side. And I'm going to take this one here and just nudge that over to the right and up a little. Click in the white space and I think I'm happy with the way that that looks. So now we need to draw up the vectors that represent the actual lily leaf itself. So let's go into the polyline tool. We're going to snap to the edge of our stalk there. And we're just going to roughly sketch in the shape that would represent our leaf. So it's going to come somewhere around here. Then I'm actually going to find the node and snap to that point there on the stalk. So you can see that my cursor's changed. It's telling me that I can snap to that point. And I'll just draw the rest of that leaf like so. I'm just going to join that back up at the end there. So let's just close that down. So now we're going to look at editing this shape just like we did to the stalks. So we're going to smooth out these points. We're going to make it look more leaf-like. So to do that, let's select that vector, go into node edit mode, and I'm just going to box select these two nodes so they're both highlighted. And then I'm going to use the option S on the keyboard and that's going to smooth those straight points out. And do the same for the bottom, so drag a box to highlight those nodes within the box, S to smooth those. Okay, so I can see that uh, this leaf is a little bit too big for what I wanted, so I'm just going to bring this in ever so slightly. And I'm just going to move the handles there, I'm just going to bring that over. Might help if I just zoom in a little, so using the scroll of my mouse, I just zoomed in there. Okay, I'm also going to take this handle, I'm just going to move that over like this. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm just going to bring this node down here. I'll just shift that up a little. Okay, so I like the curvature that I've got there. Then I'm going to take this control handle here and I'm just going to bring that down. Then we're going to look at creating some more curvature in this leaf here. So I'm just going to take this node here and just bring that down. Okay, so that's not too bad. And I'm just going to take this node here and then using the up arrow key of my keyboard, I'm just going to nudge that up a little. Same for this one here. And then we're just going to tweak that shape by just pulling on the handles uh, until I'm happy with the shape that we've got. So I'm just going to pull that down and then we could just take a look at that. So let's just come out there, click in the white space just to review that shape. Okay, so that's not too bad. I just want to make one final adjustment here. I'm just going to move that over. I might just take that handle and just shrink that up, maybe move it over to the left click in the white space and I quite like the curvature that we've got in there so I'm happy with that so let's just go into normal selection mode and we'll use this option here to zoom to fit so the next thing that I'd like to do is actually break up these shapes now the way that I'd like to model the shapes for this leaf is by using the create shape option where we're going to look at modeling each side of the leaf separately. So we're going to use this stalk as a divider. So I'm going to take that stalk, I'm going to right click and then I'm going to use the option here to copy to layer. Put that on a new layer. We're going to call this layer Edit. We could go ahead and press OK. And I'm going to take the leaf shape that we've got here, right click, this time I'm going to move that to that layer, Edit and then we could go over to our layers option up here. I'm just going to switch off layer 1, make the edit layer the active layer and you can see I've got the copy of the stalk and my leaf vector is on this layer here. So now we're ready to crop this leaf up into two separate regions. So to do that I'm just going to use the interactive trim tool. I'm just going to get rid of this stalk area here. I don't need that. I'm only concerned with the stalk running through the leaf. You can close that down. And I'm going to select this vector here. If we go into node edit mode, I'm just going to look at cutting the vector at this point here and this point here. So to do that, I'm just going to right click on that node, use the option here to cut vector, right click on this node here, cut vector there. You'll see that I'm now left with two separate regions because we cut them at these points. 
Okay, so let's just put that back into normal selection mode. Okay, now in order for me to create two regions, I'm just going to take this vector here, right click, and I'm going to copy that vector. And then with this vector selected, I'm going to hold down shift, I'm going to select this vector here, and we're going to join them. You can see at this tolerance, uh, I'm going to have one closed vector when I join it. Okay, so you can see that there. And then if I right click and just paste that stalk back in there and then hold down shift and select the other side of the leaf again we're going to join them and then once we've joined them we're going to have one closed vector close that down you can see that I now have two separate regions so now I'd like to create a vector that's going to represent a little bit of a recess area on the right hand side of this leaf to do that, I'm just going to simply take the vector that I already have and I'm going to create a copy of it. To do that, I'm going to select it, put it into transform mode, hold down control, hold down shift. I'm just going to make that scale down in proportion. So shift does that, control does the copy. You can see I've got a new leaf there. I'm just going to roughly position that in place. Okay, so that's not too bad. Okay, so I quite like the way that that looks. Um, so now we're ready to bring everything back to our original layer. So the easiest way to do that is if I go to my layers option up here and I'm actually just going to delete this edit layer and then the software is going to tell me that there's data on it, what shall we do with it? So we want to move it all to layer 1. So let's OK that and then if we go to layer 1 and we'll switch that on, you'll see that we have everything in view here. I'm actually just going to go back to that leaf there and I'm just going to position that again. just want to bring that out a little bit more. Okay, so something like that. Maybe make that a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm quite content with what we've got there. Uh, so now the last thing that we need to do is bring in uh, some cross sections for when we actually model the actual stem shape. So to do this, we're going to look at modeling the cross section based on the shape of a circle. I'm just going to roughly draw in a circle there, and I'm going to type in 0 0.375, so you'll see at the bottom there, and then if I press D, it's going to give me a circle at the diameter of 0.375. Okay, so then I can close that down. Now, cross sections need to be open vectors. So I'm going to take that circle into node edit mode. I'm just going to zoom in there, right click on this span, delete it, right click on this span here, delete it. And we've got a nice open semicircle in place there. Let's just put that back into normal selection mode. And what I'd like to do is take a copy of this. So we're going to have this cross section will represent this area of the stalk and we want that to blend into a smaller semicircle as it gets to the tip of this leaf here. So we're just going to create a copy of this. I'm just going to press Control and Alt just to create a copy and it's going to go down vertically there. And then I'm just going to change the size of this. So let's, with that selected, go into Set Selected Object Size and we're going to make the width of that 0 0.03. Apply that close that down, you can see we've got a very small shape in there. Let's just zoom to fit there. So there we have all of the vectors that we need to model the lily leaf moulding, which you will find the tutorial for this in the related videos. So let's go ahead and save this file. So go to File, Save As, and in the Project folder, I'm just going to rename that. I'm going to call this one Lily Leaf Moulding Vector Drawing save it and you can access that from the project folder.